Hi, Gloria Leibecker here with Healing You. Today I've been reflecting back on this last week, working with several different clients, and I noticed that there was a, a theme or a recurring um, experience that these clients were experiencing. And it was really exciting it, on one hand, and on the other hand, there was pain that comes with it. So what was, what's a have discovered parts of yourself that you didn't know you would. And once you've awakened, um, it's like there's no going back. Now you're awake. And yet what's the problem with that? Being awake? Well, because maybe you don't have a language for this new experience or how to show up in the world in this new way. And so when you are reaching out for connection with others, maybe you make yourself wrong. And tell yourself, well, I'm just not listening good enough. I'm not a good listener. And, and you do the best you can. And, and then some, some people, some of us, we feel disjointed when we're making those connections because it's new and it can feel awkward. And we don't know for sure what we're supposed to say. And we're not sure how to show up in the relationship because it's all new to us. And then we get scared that there's really no place to belong, that there's no place that we fit in. And then we rest with this really deep chasm of sadness for just how darned alone it has been in our life, living so alone and lonely. And we woke up and now we can see there's all kinds of possibilities for relationships. And we don't know how to bridge that gap for communication. Well, to live with an open heart and an open mind and to come into congruence with your own values. It goes with it, but it doesn't limit the limitless possibilities of potential that you hold within you, within your spirit. Because you know, I'm here to acknowledge that it's completely possible. And it's safe to experience your life in real time, just experimenting with, well, this is how I'm showing up now, I see how that works. And as you just are willing to continue to show up authentically with trust that you've made it where you are today, that this next step, the path you will see in the moment when you need to see it in order to make those heart connections with others. We first need to have that heart connection here within us. And when we begin to practice this way of being in life, then we, we hold ourselves with compassionate understanding while we're reaching out to engage with others. And we transparently reflect what we aren't hearing and check in with other people as we continue to check in with ourselves. And the power of transparency is it just lets you relax, it lets your body relax. And because you're speaking your truth in the moment. And when we continue to practice this way of being, holding ourselves with compassion, we recognize that our, our sense of belonging actually resides within us from our heart. And then as we take time and we can reflect on our journey, then we can allow our past to actually inform our present day experience and we can continue to pay it forward 
to be the difference we'd like to see in the world and to make a difference in the lives of others, especially those that we resonate with and we recognize their felt sense if they came from this place of feeling so alone in the world. We can have compassion. So, you know, one of the things I've noticed with these clients and even in my own life is that I wouldn't recognize the things that I was doing that was really working well. Because the way our system is created, we're always looking for what's wrong. Am I safe? Does it, do I matter? And we have this um, a negativity bias. And when we can recognize that, that's for survival. We don't need to make it wrong. And we can slow it down and we can flip it around. And we can start to notice what's working well. And when you notice what's working well, take a moment to savor that. To really allow yourself to drop into your body and to experience that at a cellular level. And one can practice consistently noticing each time that we engage with somebody else and acknowledge I reached out and I was engaging with someone I was reaching for a heart connection and I started right here in my own heart with myself and I acknowledged it was scary to reach out and I did it anyway because I really want to continue down this path of life that it serves my life and then we can also acknowledge the times that we've been practicing listening deeply to others. Listening from our heart instead of our mind. Listening for what is the need that is being acknowledged in this moment or what's really important, valuable to this other person. And empathize with them. And we can, each time we do this, so, so powerful to take the time to abide in the experience to notice the sensations in your own being as, as you show up this way. And notice, does your body have a response? I know mine does. And th one of the things that we need to learn when we've had this journey, or on this journey, sometimes we need to learn how to receive the good. Maybe we're not used to being around people or we're not used to people noticing us or inviting us to do things or engaging with us or even listening to our heart. And so when somebody wants to listen or asks to listen or invites you, you might withdraw. It might not feel so comfortable. So our body needs to learn how to unlearn that. We need to learn through repeated experiences of being relational and being in choice. And we can take that slow. We don't need to be in a hurry. But to notice what it feels like to receive kindness from another person. Sometimes we need to really practice receiving kindness from ourselves. Oh, well, if this, if this resonates with you, I would love to invite you to join me in an upcoming opportunity to work and heal with others. The Healing You Journey begins with a free course. And in that free course, there's five different videos and you can just be in choice every step of the way and click to the next video if it's still resonating with you. You can go to my website and check it out at healingyoursanctuary.com and take time to recognize what is working well in your life each step of the way. Thanks for being on this journey with me today. Healing you.